QuickBooks Online 1C Setting Up a Business. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, the email address, the website. I'm teaching the book, Cost Accounting for Dummies, each week online for free in the Twitter account. So in our last video, we talked about chart of accounts, set up some accounts. We talked about preferences. Let's go to the screen now that talks about budgeting. If I go to company, you'll see a screen that talks about budgets. And as that screen comes up, the nice thing that QuickBooks will give you an ability to do is to create a budget so you can compare your budgets to your actual. So you can see here that um, the profit and loss budget, another word for the income statement, will track amounts and income and expenses so you can see whether you're over whether you're under your budgeted predictions when your actual results start to come up. I mentioned that now. I'm going to wait until we get some transactions in another full month before I set up a budget. But there is a budget category. So I wanted to mention that. I'll put an X by budget. Let's go to, to the uh, customer section and talk about setting up a customer. Customer Center, setting up a new customer. So here's the tab at the top that says Customers. I'll go to Customer Center. It's easier if you set up the customer completely the first time you do business with the customer, waiting for it to come up here. This affects um, names on estimates. This suspects, suspects names on invoices. All those things. So I set up one in here that says fancy clothing. And so we've set up a customer here. You can go to Customer Center under the Customers tab and go to New Customer and set up the customer information. So I'm just going to click on New Customer just to show you what the screen looks like. So you're going to type in information, company name, Billing address for billing, email all the contact information, top right hand corner, and then shipping address, bottom right hand corner. So you can fill that all in. And you'll see here that I set up a customer called Fancy Clothing. And it tells me that so far there's no opening balance. For example, an opening balance of a receivable that they may owe me. And it also shows transactions here. So I've got one customer. That's set up. And if I hit edit, you'll see the data that I put in. I can put in extra data that I haven't put in so far. I can edit the customer. So that's where we set up customer. So we'll just put a check mark by that. Now that I've got a customer set up, I can create an estimate. So let me go back to the customer window and I'm going to click on estimate. So Fancy Clothing is a clothing store that is going to buy blue jeans from Sturdy Blue Jeans, which is my company. So I can put in an estimate, and I can put in a status, whether it's pending, which means it's still up in the air as to whether the order will be filled, or whether it's accepted, which means accepted by the client. So nothing under that category either. So customer name address ship to business. But then if you look under here, you'll see the product or service, a description of what they bought, the quantity and the rate, quantity and rate. So this is, again, an estimate is a proposal to a client that they haven't accepted yet. They haven't accepted it yet. You'll also see that you can... Um, click on here, go to my client fancy clothing, and it fills in on the data that I put in. So here's name and address, the date I'm, the information I'm shipping, the estimate number and the date. I can put in all the data on an estimate. I can also click on this screen and click all.
and without doing the interview, it shows me recent transactions. So I can do that too, I can customize it. So what it flipped to was a report on all transactions for Sturdy Blue Jeans. So that's how I can do a customer estimate. And I can also connect that to the home page. If I go back to the home page, I can look at that estimate button on the home page. So as that pulls up, we're going to see the uh, estimates right over here. So I'm going to click on them. And it takes me right back to the estimate page. Okay. So those are estimates. Let's wrap up this video by going to vendors. So I'm going to click on vendors. These are people you are buying things from. And you'll see that I've created a Cold Mountain Denim is a company that I'm going to buy denim blue jeans from. So I have one vendor in here. If I click on C for Cold Mountain, I would also get Cold Mountain Denim. You can do it by category two. So I do have one vendor. And again, if I connect that to the home page, if I go on the right hand side, because I'm writing checks to vendors, so vendors is on the outgoing side of the page, on the right hand side of the page. So as I go to the home page, I can click on vendors. And it gets me right back to the same screen. So a vendor is somebody that I'm paying, dollars going out. If I go to the home page, and I click on estimate, which is going to be on the right hand side of the page as it comes up. An estimate is under the money in category, that's a client. A vendor is somebody I'm paying to do something for me or buy or sell me something that is money out. And that's the end of video three. Thanks for watching.